Hey guys, I'll be doing a few videos for Artworks Resin. This is my favorite resin. It can be easily purchased in Canada and in the United States. Um, it's very thick and I find that it is affordable for the quality result that it gives. It goes really well with pigments and paint in it and whatever stuff or additive you like to add to your resin and it also gives a very clear finish i just it's my favorite one so i'm going to start off by showing you guys my setup for when i do resin i have this bin that i bought at canadian tire i didn't pay a lot i think it was like i can't remember but under 50 dollars that's for sure and it's really cool because it has the clips on the side to really seal it shut you can go like that and do half, but I usually do the whole thing. I, I leave this up while I'm working, and as soon as I'm done, I gently just slide it on to create the least movement possible so nothing goes in. Um, it doesn't always work 100%. There's sometimes a little speck still, but it really does the job very well. Now, it's not very, very large, so... You can't really do huge, huge, huge um, artworks with this, but let's say you go like that. So it's 18 inches, so a 16 inch fits in there and it goes well to have like space on both sides to work. So 16 and then this side there's 40. So let's say 38 inches would be the longest that you can put. So yeah, this is what I use. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I had started working directly in it. And then not long afterwards, I decided to use aluminum foil to cover it up. And that way, after I've done a few and it's very messy, I just pick up the aluminum foil, throw it away and start anew. There, and that's what you're gonna be seeing as a background in my videos. This is what I use, so it's perfect. Now for the materials, we have our part A resin, part B hardener. You need both of them. They are two parts to create your resin that you will be pouring on your artwork. A cup, you could use a measuring cup like this one. Personally, I eyeball it and I've never had a problem but if your eyeballs aren't working so well, then maybe you could use a measuring cup. I like to mix with plastic spoons because then I can just wipe them off and or let it dry on it and reuse them again. Gloves, you guys, you want to have gloves, absolutely. It's a need. A box, you want extra ones beside you, you want a ton of them. You must have gloves on when you're working with resin. Put them on even before opening it up. Next is the torch. So I have a Loli Vefe torch here, which I find works really, really well. This is filled up with butane fuel that I like to have near me when I'm doing my resin in case this empties out and I need more during the process. You need this to pop the bubbles in the resin to have a perfectly clear finish. The painter's tape is to put in back of either my canvas or my wooden substrate that I'll be putting resin on because that way when the drips fall, they fall onto the tape underneath and it's easier to remove everything with the tape. You just heat the tape and remove it. Toothpicks are to pick out little pieces of lint or hairs or whatever that falls onto your resin while you're doing it, while you're applying it. You only have a certain amount of time before you have to stop picking at your resin. And each resin is different. Some you will have, you see here it says 30 to 40 minutes work time. Past that, you don't go in and plucking anything with 
your toothpick because you will ruin your finish. The only thing I'm missing here is a mask. Beware, some people are highly allergic to resin and it is much, much recommended to wear a mask to protect yourself in case you get an, a reaction or even if you don't get a reaction. And lastly, I have some rubbing alcohol here. This is what I use when I sand my resin and I'm going to apply a new fresh coat then I will clean it off with rubbing alcohol, but you don't absolutely need this. This is the result from sanding and clear coating this older piece that I'll be showing you in my next video. Stay tuned.